Hello, in this video we're going to follow the servicing of a mid-1960s Supro 1616T. Uh, the 1616T is one of the little 5 watt offerings from uh, Supro made by Valco. Uh, it features a 6V6 tube, single one in the output section. Uh, controls are pretty simple. This has a tone and a volume. This one as you can see is missing a knob. And I'm going to see if I can dig one up from my stash. Uh, this model also features tremolo, uh, which has a uh, depth, or excuse me, a frequency control, but no depth control. Cool little, cool little light fuse holder. Uh, tremolo is foot switchable, and we have two inputs: one for standard and one for treble. Uh, this model also has an oval speaker. I'm not sure the dimensions of these. These are like, I don't know, six and a half by 10 inches or something like that when you measure them out. But they are made by Rolla and they're pretty hard to come by. There's your 285, 241, so that would be for 1962. Single 6V6, 5Y3 rectifier, and two 12AX7s in the preamp. Cabinet is made of all plywood. Has the original two prong cord, which the customer uh, wants me to change. I'm going to see how original it is and kind of advise them on that. It probably wouldn't be a good idea, or it probably would be rather a good idea to go ahead and change that. T77559. That T will give you the year. There's some resources online where somebody is gone and figured out what those mean. This one still has the uh, the fuse in the sack there, the spare fuse. Overall a pretty clean example with the exception of some rust on the face plate and the missing knob. So we're going to try to dig up the knob, see if maybe we can clean off this face plate a little bit and just do some general cleaning and servicing. If that's something that you would be interested in, uh, please stick around. If you ever do any work on a little old Supro like this, it's a good idea to uh, put something soft underneath the area where the logo sits on the front of the cab if you have to lay it face down to get the back off and to do general servicing. Um, it's okay to lay them down, but you need to put something soft down. In this case, I've got a bunch of, uh, of these shopping bags all wadded up together and placed under there and set it down gently. So that way that logo doesn't crack any more than it already has. The little the little tail end of the uh, lightning bolt is already broken off on this one, as they do on so many of them, but we don't want to break it any further, so that's why we do that. Okay, just looking at this thing with the back door off for the first time. You can see the back door is made of plywood as well, uh, which is pretty typical of all Valcos from, from this era. Um, we have our requisite wood blocks on each end of the chassis, uh, which uh, attach the chassis to the cabinet. And uh, this thing looks, I mean, this thing looks exceptionally virgin, in my opinion. I don't... Okay, I've cleaned everything on this. I've cleaned the sockets. I've cleaned the pots. I uh, cleaned the jacks uh, and installed a three-prong cord. Uh, nothing else really needed anything. I, I've checked, uh, checked bias. That's okay. Um, checked everything else. Everything seems to be ex exactly functioning as it should. Uh, so I believe we're ready to give this thing a, a bit of a listen. And uh, should sound pretty cool. Okay, we're ready to check out this uh, Supro uh, amplifier, the 1616T, and for the purpose of this demo, we're going to use a 1961 uh, Supro Bermuda model, 1540. Uh, the Bermuda model is uh, Resoglass. Um, it's the back of it. As you can see, these are these are cool guitars. They've got a, adjustable necks. This is actually a, an adjustment screw that adjusts the pitch of the neck. Um, actually predating the fender uh, adjustable neck feature so very cool uh, we're going to check it out with this which is um, pretty 
right around this uh, similar time frame. So this will give us a chance to hear a, a supro through a supro. <laughs>
Supro uh, 1961 Supro Bermuda Model 1540. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, uh, please click subscribe below uh, to get videos like this in the future. And for now, y'all take care.